Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the third video in my series of lectures where we are learning about Windows Server 2022. In the first video, we have set up and in, installed the Windows Server. In the last video, what we have done using our Windows, uh, using a work of virtual box, we have created a domain controller one and domain controller two, and we made sure that they have connectivity between each other. Okay, so if I go back and like take a quick look of that two machines. So here you have domain controller two and the domain controller one, they're running. And what we have configured, we have configured the IP address statically. Okay, this one uh, is configured as uh, IP at uh, 10001, which is assigned to domain controller one. Domain controller two, we have assigned 10002. Okay, so uh, and we made sure that they, this machine can connect to the other machine. Right now, I'm gonna close the domain controller two for now. And what I'll do, I'm gonna come back to the domain controller one, and I'm gonna install a role. So right now, in its default state, I do not have any roles installed here at all, okay? And if you look at it, it's only got the file and storage services. That role is uh, installed by default when you install the Windows Server 2022. Now to add a role, all you need to do is click on Add Roles and Features. So that starts this wizard. And for the first one, just go with the default, hit Next. And I am going to use the role-based or feature-based installation. So I'm going to hit Next again. And uh, it's asking select a server from the server pool. So I'm just going to use this one, the same server that I'm on right now, and hit next. And here it's just listing uh, a whole bunch of roles, and you can use one or more roles. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Active Directory Domain Services and click on this one. And once I do, it's just saying, hey, this role, this features, add features that are required for the Active Directory Domain Services. So I have to say yes, because there's some other features that needs to be part of this particular role that I'm trying to install. I'm gonna click on Add Features, and then uh, go with the Next, and you can read some of these Active Directory Domain Services, stores information about objects on the network and makes this information available to users and network administrators. ADDS uses domain controllers to give network users access to permitted resources anywhere on the network through a single logon process. Okay, a, a great feature, a great tool. Hit next. And in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, go with this with the default option as well. In this page, I'm not connected to the uh, Azure environment, no cloud environment, so I'm gonna hit next as well. I would like to click uh, this one on. Uh, it's just restart the discrete destination server automatically refer. So during the installation process, if there is a restart required, it will automatically do so. It will give you some, some warning. And since it's an isolated environment, I, I know no one is actually connected to this particular server. I know that it's okay. I'm gonna say yes, and hit install. And that will start the installation process. It typically, in my laptop, it takes about uh, two, three minutes maybe. Uh, for you, it may take longer or, or, or shorter based on the hardware available to you and the, con the way you have configured your virtual machine. Now that will install this role, but it will not promote this server as a domain controller. So what I will do, I will stop the video at the end of this installation, and we are going to promote this server as a domain controller and create our forest in the next video. So just uh, uh, wait for a second, I'm gonna pause the video, and once this installation is done, we'll take a quick look at it and then uh, will be ready for the next video. I think this installation is done. Yeah, so you, this installation is now done. As we, as we are speaking, I didn't have to even pause the video. If you see, there is a warning button that showed up in here. So if you click on that one, it says, hey, post deployment configuration needs to be done because we have installed the Active Directory domain service Okay, and there is a server name is win and then is a weird name. 
we have to change the server name as well uh, just for our own convenience and then uh, it says this installation is good you have installed this edit years but you need to promote this to a domain controller so it's a two-step process now you can close this one if you like okay and you can always go back to that one by clicking this uh, clicking the warning button and in the next video what we'll do we will see how to promote this server to a domain controller before we do that if you also look at in here at this stage we had the file and storage at the very beginning now if you see this ADDS this box is now turned green we have some other boxes in red you can ignore that but you see that I still don't have a DNS server available to me that's still not there so when you promote this what will happen it will install another role as part of the uh, DC promotion and DNS service will get installed so let's uh, stop this video here and let's meet you in the next video where we're gonna promote this server to a domain controller thank you and see you in the next video